We're going castle hunting. Yeah, we are. No, we're going vampire hunting. <laughs> All right, you guys, so there are a lot of organized tours that go out to Braun Castle and to Rossnell Fortification, which is where we're going today from Brashoff. Um, they can run you anywhere from 60 euros a person to 150 euros a person and more, just depending on what how fancy of a tour you get. But public transit is your friend. <laughs> Chant, say it with me, public transit is your friend. So we're going to go to the same two castles today on the public bus um, for about $2 per person. Now the bus leaves every 30 minutes and it leaves from Auto Bus Station 2 in Brashoff. So you just walk up, there's signs on the front of the buses, you find one that's running and looks like it's ready to go that has the sign for Rosnoff or Braun Castle. You hop on, you pay your two bucks, and you're good to go. So the public bus drops you off the castle and you can walk through all the vampire inspired knickknacks and paddywhacks until you get to the entry. Welcome to Veron Castle, better known as Dracula's Castle. Originally built in 1377, it was used as a royal residence up into the early 1900s but it has absolutely nothing to do with Bram Stoker's Dracula. It was thought for a time period that Bram Stoker based the castle in his novel off of this one. However, he never even came here. Did no research in Transylvania. This, there's absolutely nothing linking this castle to the novel or to Vlad Tapish or Vlad the Impaler, who Dracula was very loosely based off of. Now, Vlad the Impaler was from this area. He was from Wallachia, a part of Transylvania, and he does have a castle in the area, but it's not this one. Transylvania translates to the country beyond the forest and it is in some really dense beautiful forests and due to it being conquered over and over and fought over over and over again it has the highest concentration of fortified buildings anywhere in Europe. There's over 300 fortified churches in Transylvania and 150 of them are still standing and open. Tepes did have a castle in this area. It's called Panari Castle, or Fortress. It's pretty much rubble now. It sits way atop the mountains and has had a pretty great view. So we had heard that this area was really, really kitschy with like a lot of vampire stuff and all kinds of craziness that and it is. There are some stalls that sell all kinds of trinkets and things, but it hasn't been 
bad today. I think it maybe is toned down right now. Either not the height of tourist season yet, or like things are just recovering from COVID. Like it's pretty chill. There's just some vendors and little shops. Like no, nothing totally crazy. There's not like Dracula's dressed up running around or anything. So right now is a nice time. So the thing about public transit is sometimes it's not on schedule. We have figured out today, both with our morning bus and this afternoon when they're not running every 30 minutes like they're supposed to, they're running approximately every hour. And we just missed the 140 bus. So we've been here about an hour, about 50 minutes, waiting on the next bus. Um, but the good thing is in Romania, Uber is extremely budget friendly. So we could have taken an Uber all the way back to where we came from for less than eight dollars. We just chose them. Second stop in Transylvania that's a must see as far as fortifications go is Rosnov Fortification. <laughs> it is just outside the city of Brasov where we've been staying. And um, yeah, let's go see what it's all about. Do I have to hike up there? No. Well guys, unfortunately Rasna fortification is closed for three years for renovations. The garden is open so you can take the funicular up and maybe get a closer look, but it didn't seem like it was going to be worth it from what the lady was telling us. So um, it was very broken English, so I'm not sure where they are in the three years, if we're getting close to the end or the beginning or not really sure. But it seems like whatever board controls all the old fortresses and stuff has taken some time to renovate them a lot while they were closed for COVID because this is like the second one we've come across that's been closed for renovation so makes sense. We have arrived to the mountain town of Sinai and look at our cutie patootie castle hotel. It's so cute. Sinai has the cutest city park ever. Like it's so green and so pretty and literally everyone is here like all the time and I don't blame them. To video people's kids because that's weird but there are so many things here there's like a huge park swing there's like inflatables every day there's a bungee swing thing they can rent little cars to drive around they can rent boats to float on the to drive on the fountain scooters like it's really pretty cool The Romanians here in Sinai love a casino. Sure. That's the casino. Even the dogs love the park. house I wanted to buy and renovate. She needs me. She needs love. This is the most beautiful town I've seen in Romania. With all these giant chalets from like the 1800s and they're stunning. But some of them really need my love. I found like three I can make them beautiful. Ryan won't let me have them. So about halfway up the trail to Pelas Castle here in Sinai, there is Sinai Monastery. And the town is actually named after the mountain in Egypt, Mount Sinai. So, anywho, that's what I heard anyway. Who knows if it's true? That's what I heard. And the monastery is really cheap to get into and there's two really pretty churches. So we're gonna go do that. So there's a new church and an old church on the site here at the monastery. The old church was built in the 1600s, but they recently just restored all the Byzantine artwork. And it's really intricate and beautiful.
Going into the spooky forest. Mm -hmm. There's a waterfall down there. And I almost fell. You know you're getting really close to a major tour site when all the vendors and tchotchkes come out. There's actually some really beautiful handmade clothing and headscarves and rugs here that I would love to have, but you know, I live in a backpack. Yes, girl, I feel you. This is where I would sit in it as well. So I have fallen in love with Romanian architecture. There's something really distinct about it. It's like this weird mix of Saxon German and a little bit of Ottoman and it's just beautiful. I think this might be one of the most beautiful castles in one of the most beautiful settings I've ever seen. So, pay less castle, paid the interest fee, went in, just, we did the base floor. It was stunning. Like the woodwork, the stuff that's in there, all the furniture, it was one of the better interior of castles that we've seen in a long time. And you could pay extra, go up to second floors. I guess there's less crowds and I mean, they're just as good or even better. So, it was about 50 lay per person. It ended up being 100, so it's about 10 bucks per person to get in. I think it was worth it. Definitely. So just like 200 meters the other direction, there's another castle called Pelisor Castle, which is like built for the nephew of King Carol that Pelis Castle was built for. So it's literally like you go 100 meters right to go to Pelis Castle, you go 100 meters left to go to Pelisor Castle. So let's go see what it's about. At the base of Pelosaur Castle, over on your right, there's an unmarked trail that goes up and joins Queen's Trail. And we think, we know if you follow it to the right, you'll come back to the base of Pelos and you can exit the facility. But we think, looking at all trails, if we follow it to the left, we might be able to connect to a larger trail that travels up into the mountains and gives really cool views. So, we're going to see where it goes. My dress has turned into a makeshift tank top and some athletic shorts because we decided to go hiking. Hellas Castle, you're going to need to open up some public restrooms because this trail just beside Pelosaur Castle has become the pee-pee trail. The whole first 50 yards of it is just like pieces of toilet paper and people coming out of the trees from peeing. God, it's so pretty. Peaceful. Hey guys, so we're in the Busaji Mountains today, which is the closest mountain range to like Bucharest. Um, and Sinai is right in this area. So there is a ton, and I mean a ton, of hiking in these mountains. And all the trails are really nice. They're all like these kind of paved rocks, and they're all interconnected. So no matter which direction you kind of veer off in, you end up right back on another great trail. And you could hike out here for days and days and days. It's really beautiful. You 
guys, look at this view. We came up the path called Stencil Franz Josef, and it has like all these giant boulders, and they've just built staircases into them so that you get views of the valley, and it is incredible. So this little five minute detour to Spree Stancil Franz Josef is definitely worth it. The view at the end is phenomenal. It's steep, but it's only like five minutes, so definitely worth it. I need a snack. Butter. Woo! Load. That is ice cold. Ooh, that's going to be tasty. Mm. That's thirsty. View after view after view. Beautiful. All right, you guys, so that pretty much concludes our time here in Romania. We are going to Bucharest for a few days. We're going to do some house sitting, take care of some cutie patootie pets and probably not film anything, we're taking a rest. So if you loved this series, please give this video a like, drop us a note in the comments, and if you're new here, hey, welcome. We hope you'll consider subscribing, and we'll see you guys wherever we end up next.